Dear friends, welcome to another video. Today we learned how to drive the Nokia 5110 display using an Arduino. I am using an Arduino Mega here, but you can use any Arduino platform you like. Now about the skin, as you can see, it is up and running and uh, I have wired it in a small breadboard. The, uh, this uh, Nokia uh, display is 84 by 48 resolution. As you can see, it has a black, uh, blue backlight and it can display graphics as well as text. I'm using a library, of course, I'm not writing the code myself. And we'll see in a few minutes which library it is and how to use it. This display is really cheap. It uh, costs around uh, three dollars or two euros. You can find it in uh, many places around the web. I can post a link in the description of the video to see where to buy it from. And the most important is the low power consumption of this unit. The power consumption is about 10 milliamps if, if it is fully lit as it is now but we can remove the backlight and it now draws as little as 0 0.4 milliamps but first of all let's see how to wire it in our project okay let's start the display as you can see is uh, 5 by 5 centimeters long and wide four and a half and it uh, has eight pins in the back that we can connect in our project. There are two ways that we connect it. I have uh, soldered some header pins here in order to attach it to the breadboard. Uh, we have to attach five first pins to the Arduino and the last three ground, light and VCC can go to ground and VCC. We'll see exactly how. Okay, let's start. I'm taking the breadboard here. I will plug the display in and start connecting the wires. Okay, first let's connect the power. The last pin is ground. So, pin 8. I get a black cable, pin 8 goes to ground. Next is light. Uh, let's put a green wire. Light goes to ground. If you want backlight to be enabled, you have to plug the light pin, the last, the um, uh, seventh pin of the display to ground. If you want the backlight to be off, you put it in uh, VCC. I'll put it in ground because we want backlight. Next, the sixth pin is power VCC. That goes here. That will connect to uh, Arduino 3.3 volts. This display works best with 3.3 volts. So in Arduino I plug this to 3.3 volts output here. So let's connect um, ground as well. Ground from the breadboard goes to Arduino ground here. Okay. We are ready to connect the five wires other than ground and VCC. Let's see. The first pin is reset. Reset um, goes to pin 13 of the Arduino. You can attach any pin, but you have to change it in the code afterwards. Okay. First 13, I said 12, is the correct? 12. The next pin is CE. Chip enable pin 11 in the Arduino to pin 2 to our display. Okay. Third 
uh, pin is DC. DC from pin 10 of the Arduino to third pin of the display. Next pin is named Dane. Dane pin 8, pin 9 of the Arduino goes to pin 4 of the display here. And the last one, um, the last one is clock pin 8 of Arduino goes to pin 5. Okay, that's it. We are ready to power it on and see if it is working. Perfect. It's working, as you can see, it's very, very easy. Let's see the diagram in FreeSync software, because it is easier to understand. Now, let's see the software side of the project. First of all, we have to download the 5110 LCD library in order to use it in our project. We are going to use the LCD 5110 graph library that is made by Henning Carlsen. We can find this library in his website that is named henningcarlsen.com and all we have to do is to click the download link. I'll put the link for the library in the description of the video below. Now that the library is downloaded, we open it and unzip it. Then we rename it LCD5110 and cut it and paste it in the Arduino libraries folder. Now we are ready to use it and uh, examine one example. I'll open up an example. We are going to uh, file examples LCD Arduino and graph demo. This is the demo that uh, we showed earlier live and this is the code. We only have to do one small uh, change. The reset pin here is attached to pin 11 of Arduino and CS to pin 12. In our case it was the opposite. Reset was pin 12 and CS pin 11. So all we have to do is to change this line here, take, make this 12 and this 11. And now we press upload and the project will run in our Arduino. Let's see some of its commands. You can see it's very easy. Init LCD, set font, it has already some fonts uh, made for us. Clear screen, draw bitmap, print, draw rectangle, set font, etc. It's very easy to use and it's lightweighted. Now let's talk about the power consumption of the display. As you can see, when the display is lit, the power consumption is 0.43 watts and the current draw is around 90 milliamps. Now, let's unplug the backlight and see what happens. When backlight is off, power consumption uh, goes down to 0.3839 watts and current draw to 80 milliamps. As we said in the beginning, the power consumption of the display is around 10 milliamps when lit. And when it's not lit, it's about 0 0.4 milliamps. Uh, this display, this uh, USB voltage tester, can measure a current of uh, only 10 milliamps uh, difference. So if I unplug the display completely, we won't see any difference. Let's try it. Display is off power consumption remains almost the same because as we said power consumption with backlight off is only 0.4 milliamps so this is the nokia 5110 display it is a very nice display to use in your project if you want low power consumption and displaying some small graphics and some text 
the power consumption is the big advantage of this display and it is very easy to use because there are many libraries out there to drive this, this display. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel in order to watch the next videos that we are going to use with this, this display and press the like button if you like it. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, write them below in the comments. Thank you very much.